Hello there. I wonder if you boys could do me a favor. Of course, Hagrid. It's nearly Halloween, and my pumpkin patch has been overrun with gnomes. Can you help me to get rid of them? Certainly can. Hello, Hagrid, but I think Ron has some things he needs to do. I do? Like getting some knocked grass and flux weed? Oh, yeah. Just make sure that you don't forget the boomslang skin, uh, lace wings, and leeches. Leeches? Oh, nasty creatures. But if you're after some boomslang skin, I've got some in my hut. Need this stuff for homework, do you? Uh, yes. That's right. Homework! For potions! All right then, Harry. I'll make a deal with you. Get rid of them gnomes in my pumpkin patch, and I'll give you some boomslang skin. Okay, Hagrid. It's a deal. Let's get to it. Deal with those gnomes. Kind of like the uh, mini game at the uh, burrow. We've got to do some uh, gnome tossing again. And we'll get another uh, wizard's card if we do really well. So, yeah. Let's see if you can get these blasted gnomes out of my pumpkin patch. Do well enough, and I'll give you some boomslang skin. To fling the gnomes, press the square button, which will help you build up speed. The faster you press, the more speed you gain. When you reach the fence, press the triangle button when you're ready to chuck the little pest out of my pumpkin patch. Try and throw the gnomes as far as you can, Harry. You'll get points for distance and extra points for every target you hit. The highest score we need to beat is 500, but I believe we need to score over 700 in order to get the wizard's card. Let's see how we do. Out there. Let's aim for that big puffer pod. I believe that is, but no, we're aiming for the bird table and we hit it! Nice! 250. Get in. Not a bad start. So we've also got to hit a scarecrow and a bucket. Let's aim for that purple thing again. Try to do this time. Uh, now! Is that enough speed? I don't think it is. No. <laughs> Not enough. Close though. Three gnomes to go. Out there. Okay. Wait for it. Now! Scarecrow taunting me. There we go. Another 100 points, that's not too bad. We still need another 200. We've got two gnomes left, so let's make them count. Okay, same for the Scarecrow. Now! Oh, slightly out, I think. Yep. <laughs> Too early. Shame. Last one. Let's aim for the bucket this time. We can. Or am I just out? Can I hit it? May just be enough. I think it is. Yeah. With the bonus points as well. 150. Should be okay. Is that enough of the card? Is it 700 or 800 points we need? I think 700 though. Well done. You got yourself a new high score. Card? Well done, Harry. Here, have some boom slang skin. You've yeah. It. What about my card? For our polyjuice potion. Wasn't that fun, Harry? Do you want to play again? So it's 800 points we need. Right. Ah. Okay. Well, let's go again. Fantastic. That's your all-time highest score. Well done. Edgar. Oh Spiller. yeah. Wasn't that fun, Harry? Do you want to play again? We'll check out the card a little bit later. In the uh, card folio. Thanks for saving me pumpkins, Harry. I hope you find a good use for that boom slang skin. 
bearded stoats, look at the time. You better run off to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Slytherin's about to start. Ha, <laughs> bearded stoats. Quidditch, yes! I've missed Quidditch. Hey, Ron. Come on, you'll be late for Quidditch. Did you manage to get the fluxweed and not grass? I got some fluxweed, but it wasn't easy. Come on, we better get to the Quidditch pitch before it's too late. Right, you are. Right, let's go. Now, if you remember the uh, dueling um, behind the statue we need to do, I believe for the uh, Slytherin duel we need to have at least 20 Witches and Wizards cards. We need one more to uh, get before we can do that. But for now, let's play some Quidditch against Slytherin. And as we join this important Quidditch game between Slytherin and Gryffindor, it is a tense moment. Slytherin are leading 60 points to nothing on the fastest racing brooms goal can buy. It's down to you, Harry. Catching the snitch is the only way we're going to win. You've got to beat Malfoy. I can't shake this bludger. What's going on? All right there, Scarhead. Someone's tampered with this bludger. There's the golden snitch. Malfoy's on it, and Potter's chasing. All right, let's beat Lemonhead to it. Right, Harry, remember to use the X button to speed up, catch up to Draco, then press square to barge him. Ha! <laughs> oh, there's a budget. Someone's interfered with it. But who and why? Well, we'll find that out a little bit later. You may be surprised. Of course you will. There's the speed rings. Try not to crash. Doing well here, folks. Doing well. We're actually in front of the snitch. Ha! Huh. Looks like I need to slow down a little bit. Oh! That bloke is also behind me, so... Come on, where's the snitch? I can't believe I'm actually in front of the snitch. I didn't plan on this happening. Ah! What am I meant to do with this? The bludge is behind me. There's the snitch. Pretty much lapping the snitch. Oh! Yes! Where's the snitch? I can't really turn around. Well, I can actually. But now it says I'm going the wrong way, so. Where the hell is this snitch? Oh man, I don't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe I've lost it. Go on, Snitch, where are you? Blood is getting closer again. Turn around. Try and not. Try and miss it. Um, where's the Snitch? Come on, Snitch, where are you? Are you here? Near the bludger. Let's drop a frog. Which I've just missed again. Do no sign of the snitch. What is going on here? Oh, okay, just flip through that. Where the hell is this snitch gone? I don't quite believe this. I'm going to have to reload. Oh. Can't go through that. Aha! There it is! Right! About time. Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's a frog. Not there, it's gone. 
Right. Now we're making some progress. Finally! Well, oh, there's the frog! There we go. Buh. Buh. There we go. Easy. Easy. Almost there. Oh yes. Right. Wait for it. First time, first time. Yeah! Gryffindor. Gryffindor. I've been saying that. Uh oh. Ooh, nasty. Pretty bad dive there. Harry's arm was hanging at a very strange angle, but in his good hand, he held the snitch. Aha, we've won! Lockhart told Harry to lie back as he tried to mend his arm with a charm. A strange and unpleasant sensation started at his shoulder and spread all the way down to his fingertips. His arm didn't hurt anymore, nor did it feel remotely like an arm. Ah, yes. Uh, well, that can sometimes happen. Uh, so, Harry, just toddle up to the hospital wing. Madam Pomfrey will be able to, um, tidy you up a bit. The next moment, Dumbledore and McGonagall were backing into the room, carrying what looked like a statue. Together, they heaved it onto a bed. It means that the Chamber of Secrets is indeed open again. Hermione whispered to Harry that it was about time he collected together the ingredients for the polyjuice potion. As soon as your arm is better, I think you should go to Diagon Alley. It was half term by the time Harry's arm was better, and following Hermione's advice, he caught the train to London. Harry met Hagrid in Diagon Alley. Ah, Gringotts Bank. So here we are again. We may have to do the uh, cart mini game again like we did in the first game. That'd be fun. Go and get your supplies, Harry. I'm going to the pub to meet some old friends. I'll meet you back here in a while. See you then. Right. So next time, we'll uh, go get our supplies. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll uh, see you all next time. See you then.